Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Kingdom Heirs. I'm your host, James Madalone. We talk about faith, family, and business, and today's episode is Coaching Tank. I've been getting some questions that people ask me to answer, and so this is what we're doing. Like, subscribe, and ring the bell of, your cha of our channel here, and post your question down below, and I will do my very best to respond to you directly as well. Today's question is, how should parents decide that whether homeschooling, public school, or private school is best for their family? It's a good question. My wife and I, Megan, we have five children, five children, and we have actually done all of that. We have done homeschool, we have done private school, and we have done a public school. So we've done all of it. Um, and I know the homeschooling, I think it's got five million people now in the USA of, of homeschooling. So the, that, the growth of homeschool has grown exponentially. I think when we were homeschooling, it may have only been starting 15 years ago, thereabouts. I think it was only maybe a million, million and a half across the country. So in the past 15 years, homeschooling has risen, risen majorly. Um, and so that, that to me is a big sign of what people want something better for their family. And, uh, and I think that's a, an important indicator of what's going on in our communities, okay? Um, now, personally, I was raised in a uh, Catholic education. So my parents chose to raise me up in uh, Catholic education, starting in first grade all the way through my senior year of high school. Uh, and so uh, I'm, I have a, a, a background of private school, okay? And which is very expensive. We all know private school starts typically in the 7,000, upwards of 10 to $12,000 per year, depending on where you enroll your child. And so uh, I think what's, what's really nice is that my wife, uh, Megan, had uh, a, bit, a mixture. She had public school, and then she also had homeschooling uh, when, for her education. So we, we kind of had the mixture of private school, uh, public school, and homeschooling. So we had all three. And we had to evaluate what would we do? What did we want to do to raise our children? Because ultimately, it's not about our parents and how we were raised and how they decided to raise us. Ultimately, it's about how we decide to raise our children together. Okay, so it's very important not to just do things because, well, that's how I was raised. What you're saying is that um, if that's how I was raised and so that's how we're going to do it. What you're saying is you're just going to mindlessly make the decision based on what your parents decided. Now, that's not bad. It's not bad, but it's a, it's a, it's a caution flag. It's a yellow flag because you and your wife are two different people coming from two different backgrounds. So together, you've got to put your mind together and your heart together and pray about this together saying, what do we really want to do for our family? And it comes down to this. It comes down to this. I'm going to write this out. Okay. Maybe you guys have seen some of my Kingdom Leader episodes. So you might want to check that out on our channel as well. We have Kingdom Leaders where we meet every uh, twice a month uh, here in Corpus Christi in my, in my home city. And uh, we meet and we talk about what it takes to raise up godly fathers, godly husbands, and, and godly community leaders. So uh, you might check that out. It's a little plug. So the vision of my family. What is the vision of my family? Now, we all work for companies that have a vision statement. We all work for companies that have a mission statement. We work for companies that have a core values. Here's the question. For you and your wife, or for your, for your husband and yourself, what is your vision of your family? What does it look like? Where are you guys at in five years? Where are you at in 10 years? Where are you at in 20 years? What do you want it to look like? It starts right now with your young children. Okay, so don't push that idea back, and surely do not let the world clog your, your, your thinking so that you don't even think about this, okay? Because you might wake up one day saying, I missed out on what we could have had together. And there is, that's a reality, okay? So what is the vision of your family? And how do you get there? So for my family and I, I wanted to have a very close, um, I, wanted, I wanted Megan and myself to have involvement in their education. Um, I always said that I would always tell people that we homeschooled and, and Meg would always say, uh, James, you supported homeschooling and you made it possible, but 
uh, Megan really was the teacher. Okay, so so that but the buy-in is very very important. I was 100% bought into this concept. So um, we recognized initially we thought about we thought about putting them into a private school, Christian education, because I thought that was very important. If we weren't going to homeschool, I thought Christian education is very important. And we started out that way. Then we realized that one of our one of our children needed a little more attention than the other. And we said, you know what? And, and we, we could have just kind of left them in the system, and they said, well, maybe we'll hold them back, and they're not reading well enough. And this was in kindergarten. Oh, no, it's in first grade. They said, oh, they're not reading well enough. And so we maybe have to hold them back, and we're like, wait a minute, guys. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Why don't we just, you know, take a time out? Megan was, uh, was uh, working in the home. She was, she was a stay-at-home mom, but, but really in the home and uh, working out of the house. And so really the question was, you know, if we have the time and, and, and the, 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 the value is there on education, why don't we take them out? Instead of trying to be holding our child back, why don't we take this and raise them in, in home with education at home? And there's so many different curriculums and ideas and things that are available that really this is something that you want to take and hold on to. Do I want my child being held back? Do I want them to deal with that stigma? Do I want them to deal with, uh, with, with uh, oh, you're, you're not the smart one and so forth? Because all that's real. And, and the answer was, no, we don't want to do that. You know what? Thank you so much for your evaluation. We're going to take them home and we're going to educate them here in our home based on these curriculums. And, and from there, they shot up. They shot forward with their learning, right? And so we're like, man, this is great. We love it. We love it. And then from there, we went from uh, our three little girls that we homeschooled up until middle school and, and high school. And at that point, we decided together, my wife and I decided together, you know what? Let's, let's move into a really good school district and let's make sure they have an opportunity to kind of expand their mind with, with the maths and with science and robotics and so forth. And so we put them into a public school setting. Okay, it was a small public school, rated very, very well for academics, and, and that's what we did. And it, 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 it turned out very well. Okay? And uh, we did that for four years for our, our older and five years for our younger. Uh, my point is that it doesn't have to be one, one way and that's it. It can be a nice mix. You can blend it together. Ultimately, it's, it's what's best for your family. Okay, and what's best for your children's education? And it's not always that you need to have a classical education. It's not that you need to be in the fine arts. Maybe your kids aren't interested in the fine arts. Maybe you are, but maybe they're not. Adapt to their giftings. Adapt to their to their creativities. Adapt to their their uh, personalities of what they're leaning towards. And that's really where education, in my mind, starts. Is you're basing it on their abilities and how you want to help grow them exponentially. So guys, thanks so much. If you have more questions on this, uh, hit them down below. Um, I'm glad to expound upon them. We're trying to do short clips here, but that was a great question. And it, and it always goes back to, you know, for your education, for your children, what's your vision for your family? That's going to be a keystone for your, your, your family life. So thanks guys. We appreciate you. God bless you. We'll see you next time.